Okay students, let's look at question number 88. Again, the question states that which of the following statements about the federal system in India are true. So, I am looking for a correct statement with respect to federal system that is followed in India. Let us look at individual statements. First one says the constitution of India provides for a threefold distribution of legislative powers which is true between the union and the state government. So, I can easily say that the first statement is a valid true statement with respect to the federal system since it is a characteristic denoted by the federal system. Second one says both the union and the state governments can legislate on residuary subjects. Now when I read this statement, this is not in accordance with the federal system structure. Therefore, second statement becomes false. Let us look at statement number 3. The parliament cannot on its own change the power sharing arrangement between the union and the state governments. Now we know this power is not given to the parliament therefore statement number 3 becomes absolutely correct. Statement 4 says the high courts have no role in resolving disputes about the division of powers between the union and the state government. This itself is true in the characteristic fundamental structure of federal system. Therefore, statement 4 also is absolutely correct. So, so, now when I look at the options, I know statement 1, 3 and 4 have to be marked as correct statements. Option 3 clearly states that the three statements are true with respect to the federal structure. Therefore, the correct answer is option 3. Let us move ahead to the next question. Alright students, let us look at question number 89. Which of the following group of states or union territories have only one Lok Sabha constituency? So, when I analyze the given set of options, I have to pick a series of options where only one Lok Sabha constituency is identified. When you look at them carefully, you can easily see Chandigarh, Sikkim, Mizoram. All three of them only have one constituency and therefore, option 3 has to be the correct answer that Chandigarh, Sikkim and Mizoram has only one Lok Sabha constituency. Thus, my answer is option number 3. Let us move ahead to the next question. Alright students, let us move further to question number 90. Now, the question states which of the following statements best reflects the socialist feature of the preamble of constitution of India. Now, we all know that the principle of socialism adopted by the Indian preamble has to follow the dictum of keeping in regularity with how the society practices socialism as opposed to the capitalist framework. So, when I look at the four statements, I have to identify which one of them best denotes the socialist feature. Look at statement number three. Government should regulate the ownership of land and industry to reduce socio-economic inequalities. Now remember, the role of government comes more in socialism in order to reduce the socio-economic polarities. Therefore, this particular option best exemplifies the tenant of socialist feature and thus I can be absolutely sure that the correct answer to this question has to be option number 3 where government should regulate the ownership of land in order to reduce the socio-economic inequalities. Let us move further to the next question. 